and there is straight, it tells me that I've got a clean, constant arc. Yeah. Wherever the red line accelerates, it tells me that there's an acceleration in the curve. So um, basically what it's telling me is that around about here, the nose rocker starts to accelerate a bit. And I noticed when I was changing it, that in comparison to a rocker I would normally use, that was a bit more flipped. Um, look, you know, I, I would probably soften the nose rocker a bit. Um, when you get a real nose flip, what happens is as you drop into a wave, uh, it can literally push water. And like, say if you do a really late drop, like you can have the sack, like we've got five and a quarter inches of nose rocker, right? So you can have it flat and flipped, or you can have it sort of long and gradual, but either way, you've still got five and a quarter inches of nose rocker from a flat line, from this uh, flat line that you can see underneath. It doesn't really show that well, but right here there's a flat line uh, along here. So it's basically at the, at the nose, it's five and a quarter inches of nose rocker. Um, so what happens is, let's say you drop, you've got a flat rocker that's flipped, as you drop into a wave and you're almost going to nose dive, it's literally going to almost push water and the amount of speed that you're going to lose, you'll just cartwheel over the front anyway. Whereas you can have a longer, more drawn out nose entry and as it's about to nose dive, it's actually got a better chance of pulling out with speed. It's a little bit like if you've got a speed boat, um, you can imagine a lot of speed boats, they're pretty flat in the tail and the nose rocker of the boat comes right back to the center of the boat. But then other times you'll have like a, what we call in Australia an aluminium dinghy and it's a fairly flat boat with, a, with an abrupt bow. And so what will happen is when you get both of them out onto the ocean and you're bouncing over waves and so on, the, board, the boat that's really flat with the abrupt bow, if it catches a wave, it just almost comes to a stop, you know, because it's pushing water. But the, the speed boat, which has the long drawn out nose entry, as it hits a wave, it's able to kind of glance over it and, and keep more speed because it's got a longer, cleaner entry. But a lot of people think, like it's, it's a bit of a mental thing, that oh, if I've got a real nose flip, I'm not going to nose dive. It ends up, you don't actually nose dive, but you lose that much speed that you fall off anyway. So it's not as an effective rocker. So, so personally what I would do is keep it where it is, but just soften, soften the nose entry. Um, so that it's, it becomes, uh, there's a little bit, where's my cursor? So there's a, a, a little bit more rocker here, and it's just a, a softer curve, rather than being like flat and then flipped at the last minute, it's just a, a softer curve. And that actually helps it fit in to a, a sucky wave better too. Like if it's too flat, like because you, your front foot is gonna be positioned around here somewhere, or roughly around here. So you really want your nose rocker to come all the way back to your front foot. If your nose rocker is too flat forward of your front foot, what happens is as you come off the top, when you bring the board around, you've got boards sticking out in front of you that just gets caught, catches the wave. Whereas if your nose rocker and you've got plenty of nose lift, as you bring the board around, it, it, it sort of lifts the, the front rail. Um, the forward section from the forward. Yeah, it just, it just lifts it out of the water and just, uh, it just doesn't mean, it means it's not going to get caught as much. Like you can come around off the top and if the board's too flat, it kind of gets stuck here before you've got the board right underneath you and drop back in. So, so if there's one thing that I would change on that board, it's just what we just did and we just softened the nose entry a little bit. Um, and then you don't have to worry about speed because in bigger surf you've got all the speed possible. You don't need to have it flat to get across a dead section. So, so, um...